you are covering me on the issue of those that say uh, this one Gandujia no Basulu Kongkosia Shege Kafasa all those things what is the government doing on that issue because this is what would be called a uh, hate speech from both sides well I, I, I clearly nobody will condone any violence uh, I personally have to also uh, call on politicians on all sides on all sides you understand nobody is exempted from uh, remarks that are complimentary but the bottom line is that people need to understand that everyone has his right has a right to express his opinions but most importantly the way and manner you express and uh, pass your message should be taken into account so all i have to say is that uh, the government does not condone it, and we are pre we are appealing to everybody. Everybody, let that, let us not be sentimental in terms of uh, the way and manner we, we go about our uh, constitutional right of um, participating in elections and politics and what have you. The most important thing is that all everybody, not just within APC, but in PDP and other parties, even those that are obser uh, observers, you know. The way and manner you pass your message is paramount, you understand? And that is what we are appealing to everybody. Quickly, uh, before as our time is running, uh, there are allegations that uh, Abla Umar Gwenduje is a sectional leader in Kano State. How? How true is that? How? Because he's a, uh, many people say that his appointment is largely from the north and central. I understand. Because he was elected in, uh, in, uh, with the highest, one of the highest votes in recent times that any governor has won uh, election in the state. So to, to, to claim that uh, he's a sectional leader it doesn't even count because what was the what was the vote of his opponent in Kano State? The, the, the gap, the disparity between the two of them cannot even... Cannot I mean even the count. issue of appointment. And the, the issue of appointment is that appointments are spread evenly. Of course, you might have due to one reason or the other, because there are a lot of political considerations when you are when you are making appointments. By and large, you have to try as much as possible to accommodate as many groups as possible to understand to form a government. You understand? So, to me, I think this is one of the most liberal government in terms of appointment. You know, don't forget we only have in Kano State. Yes, we only have fourteen commissioners. Out of the 14 commissioners, we have 44 local governments. So there's no way you can be able to divide the, you divide the commissioners that we have into the local governments that we have. But the other, appoint, the other appointments, uh, advisors, senior special assistants, and what have you, are there to complement those areas that are, are, are lacking. On and lastly, what, what assurance would you give the kind of state uh, uh, indigenous or resident in terms of uh, a peaceful uh, local government election because we saw what happened in Delta State and uh, this uh, feud between uh, Gandujia and Konkosia is, 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 is threatening the peace of Kano State. Well, of course, in, 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 in the administration of Dr. Gandujia, we have been peace loving uh, administration. We have preached that. We have called just uh, a week ago. Uh, we had a second interfaith, interfaith and community leaders uh, conference where we brought in both the leaders of the Christian and Muslim communities as well as other non-indigenous that are resident in Kano, just trying to promote peace and stability in Kano. And not just within this, but we also extend it to other, other avenues of the state. So what I want to say is that people, if anybody from Kano that is listening to me, Kano is much more important, it's bigger than any individual. So make sure that nobody asks you to go and uh, engage in things that are violent, in things that are going to, to, to turn the state around. We have, gone, we have gone a long way since the coming of this administration to be able to develop the state in terms of infrastructure, and as such, we should be able to maintain it. We should not go back to, the, to those days of vandalism, of political thuggery, and all that. I call on everybody from Kano listening to me do not engage in that. Anybody that tells you to engage in violence, start with him. All right, thank you very much, um, Salimu Tonkuyakase, who has been uh, the director of media to Kano State.